Okay, I just want to do a quick video on the thumb test on bikes. Now, I've, I've seen it recently, and, and a number of people have been doing it. I've had people, I, I, actually I did a video on this some time ago, about pressing in on the side of the bike or, you know, in damage area. And the video I did previously on it was, don't do this to a carbon frame. So the problem with pressing in with your thumb is you're putting a concentrated point load into that area, which can generate really high localized interlaminar shear stress. And so what that does is with the layers, you've got, you're putting this, when you, when you press down, you're trying to separate those layers. That's interlaminar shear stress. Now, by pressing hard on your thumb on a thin section, um, like the side of a down tube or top tube or something like that, you can actually cause micro cracking of the resin matrix between the layers. And the only way you'll, you'll know that is by, by doing ultrasound scans to find, to find that. So by pressing in on your thumb, you can damage the frame unknowingly and there's, there'll be no visual indication on the surface. Um, although it's not always true because I was in a bike shop one time and uh, a guy, like the, the, the mechanic in the bike shop pulled a brand new bike out of the box. It was a stork. This was quite some time ago. And, and he goes, oh, look how thin the top tube is. And he pressed it down with his thumb and it split along the, the butt splice along the center of the top tube. It just popped pop the crack. So don't use the thumb test as in, to, to say that, um, you know, the, the, the test, the test bikes and say that this is good or bad or, or whatever. It's, it can damage the frame, not recommended, less than ideal. Okay, see you next time, bye.